we're uh, on set, uh, Matthew Broderick and I are sitting next to each other at lunch, what, you know, the days that we're shooting, and he keeps asking about my life. He's like, what are you up to? What are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm actually practicing for uh, the chorus line, a film we're doing. Um, and he goes, oh. And so Matthew Broderick's really into, like, um, uh, Broadway and stuff. Yeah. So he goes, oh, that's great. Like, you're doing, like, the whole thing. I go, no, we had to get, get it down to about a half hour to actually participate with it. And he goes, what are you going to do about the song? And I go, the, the song? He goes, yeah, tits and ass. <laughs> and I go, oh, 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 yeah. So we can't compete if we're actually saying those words. So we had to change them. And he goes, <laughs> you, you changed the words? I said, yeah. Is this you, a public school? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what did you change them to? I said, this and that. He goes, you changed tits and ass to this and that? Are you kidding me? He like stands up and he's... He's putting on his own show, of course, but yeah. Um, and he goes, "I want you to come to my trailer tomorrow morning." And I'm like, "Okay, okay." Yeah. <laughs> so um, I do, and I come the next morning, and uh, I walk into his little his little trailer, and he's got you know boxer shorts and a massive white V-neck T-shirt on, just hanging out, you know. And we sit down. He's like, "You want a grapefruit?" And I'm like, "No, no, I'm, I'm okay. I don't want to throw anything up on your table here." And um, he sits down. So we keep talking. And, um, and uh, he kind of comes to this like, conclusion. And he kind of goes like, David, in this life, you're going to have to choose between tits and ass or this and that. And I want you to make the right decision. And that, that line right there was literally like the moment where I turned from a boy into a man. Like it was, it was, yeah. should have been my dad. My dad was not there, but Matthew Broderick, <laughs> he actually gave me the line that said, you are correct. <laughs> I am going to do this. Yeah. And so later that day, I was filming with Reese Witherspoon. Unfortunately, this this scene was cut out of the movie. But uh, she's making the sign and just you know frantic, trying to you know become the president, and I'm helping her out. And I turned to her in in, in the script. I said, uh, Tracy, Reese, Tracy, would would you like to go out with me sometime? And she goes, No, no, no. I'm too busy. I got to take care of this. I got to blah 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 blah. And I go, Okay. And then that was the scene. And they all clapped. Oh, good job, David. And then afterwards, I go, Reese, I want to take you on a date. And she just laughed, you know, just thought it was so funny. And so I did. I actually took her on a, like a little tiny yeah. coffee across the street date. We, sure. It probably lasted 20 minutes tops. But anyway, I took How Reese. How sweaty were your palms? Oh, my gosh. Oh, just horrible, yeah. horrible. Um, and, uh, but I did. I took an Oscar winner on a date. No. Oh.